are here at Click Connect 2025 in Orlando. I have the pleasure of being joined by Stefan Heinz. Stefan is a Senior Business Intelligence and Analytics Specialist at Bystronic Group. Stefan, great to see you. Thanks for making time to catch up with me on camera. Sure, thanks, Des. Thanks for having me. Are you having a great time here at the event? I know you did a presentation earlier today. Right, I had a presentation right after the general session. It was about Click Answers, how we at Bystronic use uh, Click Answers, or Gen AI with Click Answers, and I think it went well with the use case that I showed. So. Fantastic. Well, I'm sorry I missed it, but I was here on camera myself, sure, but I'll, be, I'll definitely be tuning into the replay. Mm -hmm. So, um, Bystronic Group are a global leader in uh, sheet metal press, pressing. Uh, I'll get you to tell us a little bit more about the company in a moment, sure. but you, you partner with Click uh, and an implementation specialist. Uh, is it uh, Inform Informatic, uh, the company that you partner with, to uh, unify and streamline your business intelligence um, on the Click platform, is that correct? In the beginning it was Informatic, now we switched over to our own business digital services. Okay, well, my apologies. Yeah, sure. um, so the aim was to streamline your, your BI platform uh, exactly. capability and you're using ClickSense and it's now essentially enabling you to do, I guess, real-time insights across your global operations over, I think, 30 countries, is that right? That's right, yeah. I wonder if we could maybe just start with uh, a little bit of a sort of an insight into your role and remit inside the organization first, mm -hmm. and we can sort of dive into some of that detail. Sure, so I'm, uh, I'm in, the, in the team within the global IT, and I run the whole ClickSense Analytics show. So the whole server administration part, <laughs> development part, licensing part, all of that is, uh, goes through my team, and we provide ClickSense Analytics for all the companies within our Bestronic group. Fantastic. And what's a day in the life of Stefan Hans like currently now that you've implemented Click and you've, you've probably got this you know, exciting thing to share with the world and, uh, and everyone's trying to sort of get on board and figure it out. What's a day in the life like at the moment for you? Right, so I try to get up early, be at work by 6.30ish, 7 p.m. Oh, wow. Uh, 7 a.m., of course, sorry. And uh, yeah, I try to catch up on, on the latest emails and see if there, if there were issues during the night, doing some reloads, doing the nightly data loads, which mostly is not the case. Then I pick up my work and develop more stuff, try to flesh out more requests on the, from the business department, dash out some uh, access rights, et cetera, et cetera get stuff going, work on some click answers things. So all of the, all of the things data basically runs for me. There's always something, isn't there? It's like, yeah. <laughs> there's very few days, I know yeah. from my own experience in the technical background, there was almost never a day where I could just sit down and get on my own thing. There was exactly. something else coming from somewhere. But I, I, hopefully it's all good news on that. It is. I wonder if you can tell us, from a 30,000 mm -hmm. foot point of view, kind of walk us through your overall partnership with Click to start with. And I've got a couple of questions around how that's sort of helping you enable smarter and faster decision making across your global organization. Right, so when Click came in uh, nine years ago, I wasn't with Bystronic. I only joined in 2019 to take over the ClickView installation. Okay. But so far, it's been a very fruitful um, partnership with ClickView transitioning to ClickSense. Then uh, Click Answers coming into play, currently evaluating the Click Cloud with the Click Talent Cloud. So it's a really good partnership with, uh, with a very, very trustful partnership. Fantastic. And I imagine you know, a lot of the uh, innovations that you've been seeing come out of late and certainly today and, and this week, uh, they're probably things that you can implement pretty quickly across your organization as well with the type of data and, and, and systems you're using. Is that right? Absolutely. Most of it is relevant for us, especially with answers that we have now. When uh, answers is now becoming uh, able to read structured data from ClickSense applications or Click Analytics applications, yep. that will be a Really cool, really, really cool game changer in the cloud, so that's going to be important for us as well. Looking forward to that. Because I imagine you've got a fairly, fairly diverse range of data sets. You'll have sort of data from suppliers and other vendors you work with, and then your own systems and machines and, and various infrastructure as such, whether it's uh, the uh, metal pressing equipment or some of the generators and other systems around that. You're probably pulling them all into some sort of data lake and then doing an analysis on it. Is that right? The main data sources for us are SAP, yep. of course, and Salesforce. Then we have around some JEDOCs for budgeting and planning and your odd usual SharePoint files okay. stored there. And the most, most part we do internal use cases based on SAP data for finance, for service, for the purchasing department, supply chain, logistics, all of that stuff comes together in lots of applications on our ClickSense tenant. Yes. Okay. Now that you've implemented Click, uh, how is it sort of helping you uh, make sort of you know, faster and smarter decisions across your global organization? Yeah, as you said, we are a global organization, so we are all the way from Australia to Brazil, so it spans the whole, whole globe in time zone-wise. And with ClickSense, everybody has access to everything right at their fingertip at the time when they need it. So there's, um, there's no need to wait for somebody to do the report. The guy in the US does the report all the time. No, everybody can go in, do it whenever they, have, they need it in their business hours, and it, it's a single source of truth. It's at, the, it's at any given time people need it, so it's, it's really cool. And, in the process. I, and I imagine you've got a combination between your day-to-day uh, -day operational people who are actually physically doing the actual work with the metal versus mm -hmm. the 
operational and administration people who are just running the business and finance and other things that are, are all now coming together with a single source of truth. It, where does Click sort of fit into that play? Uh, it fits, fits in right in the middle because we obviously have these high-level finance dashboards with just some KPIs, then we have the drill down tables of every single line item. Okay. We have that on a finance level, on the service level, people can go any, in, in, into any quote, into any sales order, look at what was booked, what was built. Fantastic. How service technicians are being rated by customers, all of that spans the whole operation basically. Every, basically every department has at least one of their own Click applications. And you mentioned that you're using Click to unify data across, uh, I think it was like 30 countries from memory I read yeah. earlier. Um, and you know, I'm guessing that gives your teams you know, consistent real-time insights across all those things. Um, you know, like most organizations, prior to implementing a system like Click, it's, it's pen and paper and, and, and spreadsheets and PowerPoints and whatnot now. I imagine bringing it to a, a single common platform, unifying that data. What's the cultural shift been like as far as you know, use of data, access to data, adoption of smarter insights been like in your experience? It also it democratizes a lot because not only the people that can use Excel can do reports, but everybody can go in. Have their, have their specific reports or needs that they have, look at it, and then make the decisions that they have all the time. And basically, yeah, what you said, the single source of truth is important. Yeah. It's not somebody downloading an Excel, and at that, at that time he had this and that number. No, it's always the same, same figure, and it's consistent, and it can be retraced where it came from. So definitely, definitely a huge win for us. Have you, what's, what's the feedback been like from your staff overall? Because I'm sure there's a range of benefits they've seen from implementation mm -hmm. of, of the implementation of Click. What sort of feedback are you getting now that they've got access to these tools and, and, and how it's changed the way that they do their job from day to day and overall on a you know, long-term basis? Well, feedback has really been good. So we are also really fast in time to market when somebody needs a new report. And as soon as somebody new or somebody sees Click Sense who yeah. hasn't seen it before, they have like, oh, I have this idea for a report, I want this and people are getting a really deep insight into, into stuff they couldn't do before and they can do now on a, on a single click and they have the specific bookmarks, they only click, they get the updated data, okay. updated report that they need, so that's, it's really helped us a lot globally. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I imagine there's, there's so much value in that consistency of not having to start from scratch with a spreadsheet, make it up and then try and generate a graph and a report. As you said, you can just click on a URL, it goes to the dashboard, you produce the standard report and an approved report as well. I think that's an important one I've seen. Exactly. It's like this report is actually approved and we can sign it off. We don't yeah. have to review it and understand it. Um, when you think about the democratization of access to data um, and particularly through the self-service dashboards, um, have there been some sort of you know, highlights where you've seen people sort of have this eureka moment or aha moment where they're like, uh, this, you know, this is, this is what we've been hoping for for a long time versus what you've had in the past. I imagine um, you know, when, you, when you put all the data in a common platform and they've actually, you know, they get a consistent, regular interface into it from the dashboards, what's the reaction being to sort of, you know, not just the access to the data, but the democratization of that data where everyone's got access to it, everyone has the same visibility, it's all accurate, it's all clean, it's all vetted. Has that been a, a game changer in a way because you don't have to sort of question the veracity of the data or the source of the data? Mm, yeah, although that is true. Also the volume, I believe. If you have an Excel download, that is just um, your 50,000 rows or whatever, yeah. and it becomes slow. We just analyze millions and millions of rows and access to, let's say, never seen before SAP tables that you can load into Click and easily right. performance, uh, do perform analysis on. That's a game changer. Different file formats like your JSON, no SQL database that you just cannot put into Excel. So that's uh, yeah access to more and more to variety of data and making more and more of our internal products, our internal tools that we use, for instance, for quoting, like this configure pricing quote, make that available to users and have done an overview of everything. So that's, that's really good. And everybody who sees it likes it and wants their own stuff. What are some of, based on your, your, what you've seen so far today and, and you've learned over this week, particularly from your talk earlier today, what are some of the use cases you can imagine that you can now start to look at with what you've already got in place with Click in the organization with some of the new features that are available, whether it's a generative AI element mm -hmm. or whether it's uh, the ability to just have a conversation with the data itself, uh, whether it's the, some of the uh, agentic uh, intelligent agents that'll be possible. What are some of the things that you're thinking that you can now start to implement across the organization based on what your you know, overall operations are on the manufacturing side of things or the, the, the business side of things? It's what I said earlier with my answers presentation given today, it only looked at unstructured data. Right. But with the new feature coming out in some down, sometime down the road, looking at structured data, looking at ClickSense or Click Analytics applications, yep. and not asking only questions about hey, what's in this PDF file, but really looking into the Click Analytics data model, asking questions, making it more and more like a chat 
will even make it more yeah. easier for people that are not so maybe let's call it data literate to go in and, and chat and ask, hey, how's my by Star Five or something, something performing yeah. this year or whatever. So that will make it more and more readily available for people within within the whole company. And I, I imagine there'll be a point in time where your staff realize that they actually don't need to have technical or data skills to actually have a conversation with the data and pull out some of that insight as well. Right. Um, are you seeing that already or do you think that'll be something that's going to come soon? Well, I'm seeing that already because when, when people request something, they not only request an application, we try to uh, give them the charts and tables they need and maybe some people don't know what they need. Right. And then we go in and say, hey, do you have this type of data? Let's visualize it like this. How, how would this look for you? And then we already provide easy insights to our internal customers. Fantastic. Uh, I've, I've seen in other uh, manufacturing organizations here, you've got these engineers out in, in the plant or on the floor that are sort of you know, bending metal, as it mm -hmm. were, and they really don't want to touch a computer or a keyboard. Mm -hmm. And when they finally get access to a tool like this and they can just start talking plain English mm -hmm. to it, as it were, the, the, the shock they get from actually being able to learn stuff from all of the an data and analytics available is often quite fun to watch because they sort of go, oh, I didn't know I could do that, or I didn't know it's possible. Mm -hmm. I, I've watched engineers actually have full conversations with their logs from their machines as if they're talking to a big you know, diesel electric <laughs> machine that they've got this long time relationship yeah, with cool. spanners yeah. and now they're actually having a conversation to say, you know, looking at how it was performing last Tuesday and what sort of issues have. And I imagine that's something that's going to happen as well. When you think about the collaboration you've got in place now with um, Click, uh, where will this play, do you think, with regard to your long-term uh, uh, plans with regard to continued innovation and, and, and certainly some of your digital transformation goals? Mm -hmm. As I said, yeah, Click Answers will play a strong role with the structured data access. I think Click as a tool or as a company for BI, business intelligence is set. Yep. Gen AI is becoming more and more important. As I said in my, my speech this morning, uh, the future is now. AI is now. You have, to, you have to act. You have to use it. Otherwise, other companies will use it and then yep. you get, uh, get left behind. So definitely, Click is a strong partner for us in everything they have to offer. And I imagine having a partner like Click means you can also sort of tap into their ecosystem, whether it's their own subject matter experts that you can work directly with or some of their partners and integrators and resellers as well. Um, is that something you'll be looking to in the sort of short to long term is to sort of look at who's in the ecosystem within the Click world, certainly people you're meeting today at Click Connect, um, that might be able to come and help add value to what you're doing as well? Exactly, I'm looking at all the booths, what they have, some yep. extensions, what they have, services they offer. Um, I also do a lot myself in that whole uh, also click answers thing, click sense, click analytics thing. But yeah, if I have problems, click is just always one phone call or one email away. So it's, it's really good. I love it. Helpful. They're only one click away. Yeah. Well, Stefan, it's been great to see mm -hmm. you. Thanks for sharing some of your story. I imagine exactly. you've got a hell of a lot of other people you want to go and chat to. Exactly. Uh, I imagine this is kind of like a shopping mall for you to go and look for other partners now you can bring to the organization and see if you can continue to innovate. But thank you so much for making time to chat sure. with me. I uh, will be looking forward to uh, what comes out of your projects in the next mm -hmm. 12 to 18 months and uh, hopefully we'll see you at the next year's event. I believe so. It's always an important event for me. Click Connect is really always my favorite event of the year. Everybody's coming back from all over the world and you meet so many friends and colleagues from, from the whole business area, so it's really cool. Yeah, that is yeah. the magic of it, isn't yeah. it? Well, thanks again. I look forward to sure. uh, catching you hopefully uh, later in the week or have you back on the show again sometime uh, right. between now and next year. Cool. Thanks, thanks Stefan. Yeah, thanks, Des.